Hello, hello. I'm so excited to be here with you today. The original idea was we were going to be sharing our Czech Glass curated collection. As most of you know who ordered the collection, it ran late getting to us from the Czech Republic. And uh, we just received it uh, at the end of last week. We started shipping as of yesterday. Um, and I do have it here. I'm going to flash, flash, flash. Uh, but I will open it once you guys have received it. So I wanted to give you a little bit more time uh, to grab that uh, um, or to open it in your mailbox. You can't buy it anymore. Um, now seeing it all together, I did decide to throw in a 10-foot spool of Softlex. I also want to check your e want you to check your email and look for a special coupon code that was exclusively sent to those who purchased the curated check glass collection. I sent you a coupon code that is going to give you some cash back on your next order. So you only have until I believe the end of July to use it. So make sure you grab that coupon code and use it uh, when you place your next order. And that'll give you $10 back. And I think you're going to love the beads that are in there. There are some very unique beads. And then there are some others mixed in to um, that are more of your normal uh, but very pretty, but more of your normal shaped bead. Uh, so it's a little bit of everything because that's what I was asked for when I did the curated collection video. Some things that are staples mixed in with some things that are really unique and special. Hey, Becky, I was happy to do it. Yeah, I want to make sure the value is there. And I really appreciate you guys always trusting me that I'm going to give you the full value. And uh, yeah, so I'm glad. And then it, it was so delayed. So that also felt like a little cherry on top too. Happy Wednesday. Yes. We added something really gorgeous today. Um, and we have a fantastic sale going on. So first, let me tell you a little bit about the sale. Um, let me flip over here. Here's what we're going to be making today. We're going to probably make them in a couple different ways. So I'll show you how I made these ones. And then because you know me, I don't like to make the same thing over and over. I'm going to make them in two other ways. So uh, you have lots of options for making something uh, similar. This not only could be an earring, but it could definitely be like a pendant in the center as well. Um, and that would be a lot of fun. So I believe the sale we just started is purchase over $69 at softlexcompany.com and you get a bundle of check glass beads for free. They are splatter beads. I think there's four strands, like a purple, a red, a mustard yellow, and maybe like a black. They are so pretty. They've gotten a little overlooked because Kristen and I didn't have time to really give them uh, their due um, project. Whenever they went up, a bunch of other stuff probably went up too, and we haven't been able to use them. And so I'm excited that you guys can grab them today for free if your order is, I think, over $69. And you'll also get free shipping too. And it looks like this offer is good through June 20th. And uh, you get the whole bead bundle, four strands total. So today what I'm going to be showing you is a brand new bead bundle. Just went up on the website today. These beads just came in uh, from the Czech Republic as well. And let me flip down here. It is five strands of these amazing drop shapes. Um, these are so luxurious and I did some investigation on the internet and these are not easy colors to find. Um, they're pretty, pretty big. They're not your tiny drop bead. They're a bigger size drop bead. They have really nice, beautiful, long faceting so they catch the light. Um, and I think we picked some really cool colors. We have a jet black, we have like an aqua um, garnet, a purple, like a dark kind of smoky purple, 
and then a tanzanite color. Um, so I used the tanzanite color already. As soon as I saw these um, cathedral connectors, all I wanted were some big check glass drops for that. <laughs> We actually have another drop shape coming uh, later this year that I'm excited about too. That's going to work so well uh, with these beautiful chandelier style earrings. Um, so I finally got my opportunity today to make uh, the earrings that I have been dreaming about ever since Tierra Cast came out with this part earlier this year. So I already made it today uh, earlier in silver. You can find all these parts on the Softlux Company website. We've got this uh, connector here. It's a five to one connector. So five loops to one at the top. And uh, basically I just took a head pin, a silver head pin and wire wrap looped the top. So what I'm gonna show you today is I'll show you how to do that little drop just in case you've never done one before. But I'm also gonna show you how to do it with craft wire if you don't happen to have a head pin handy. And then I was also thinking about showing you how to do it with soft flex beading wire. If you don't have a head pin or craft wire handy, uh, maybe that would be the ticket for you as well. And I wanted to test it out with this other five to one connector. I'm not sure how these drops will hang with less space between them. So I was curious. So we might test that out too and see how that ends up working. So if you like that spiral style better, you could certainly uh, change that part out too, giving you lots of different options. And then this little bead between is just a little four millimeter bead. And we have a ton of those um, on the website as well. So I kind of bundled those here and uh, we'll get going. Let's see what everybody's saying. Hi, Becky. Very pretty beads. They would look pretty with just a faceted bead above them too. Oh yeah, that was a, that was another design I was thinking of. Um, just a faceted bead, or even just one simple drop down from this tier cast part, which also came out this year, to make like a, a just a single long drop bead. I think would be gorgeous. So I may do that too. We'll see. We'll see how much time we end up having here. I got to get going. Uh, as you're noticing, there is a giveaway today. I will be giving away one of the splatter bead bundles. So the four strand bundles that you can get for free if your order's over $69, I will give one of those away at the very end of the show, but you must be present to win. You can only enter once, even if you put hashtag free beads in 10 times, it will only count you once. So you only need to do it once. And it's a random uh, tool that will pick the winner for us. Any other questions? Becky says the garnet looks magenta on the website. Does it? It may have ended up more magenta. It's definitely more of a garnet. It's like a nice deep dark red. We may have to adjust that one. It might have just been the light or what it was sitting next to. Sometimes things don't come out quite how you intend for them to. Amanda says, I love the drops. Lori says, how do I get a future kit box? New here, so sad I missed this kit. Okay, so here's the thing, Lori. We have a new kit every single month, and then we have event kits. And then we, every once in a while, we'll have a specialty kit like this check glass curated collection. The best way to keep track of what we're up to is by joining our email list. You can find that on our website, softlexcompany.com. Uh, get your email on there, and then we send out emails on a regular basis to keep everybody kind of clued in to what we are up to and what we're doing. All of our videos and articles and events all get posted into the email. Okay, I think I caught everything. I'm going to start tearing apart things and we're going to make some earrings. Okay, so the first color combination I was thinking of was I was thinking that this purple would look so beautiful um, with this piece here. But now that you've pointed out the garnet to me, 
I am thinking that might be the ticket with gold. And maybe I saved the purple to test out with the copper because that would be a pretty combination. So let's do that. I'm going to clear away everything but what I need right now. And so these two. Now, if you get this whole five strand bundle, so these three colors, the garnet, and then the tanzanite that's in my ear, you get 30% off the bundle. So it's a really good deal. You can get the bundle and still work your way up to $69 and get the free second bundle too. The discounts will overlap. So um, think about that while I figure out which of these beads I think would be a good complement. Here, I went with a darker bead in the center. So let me see what might make sense with this garnet. This tanzanite color might be really pretty. This color could be really pretty. It's like a deep, dark green. I'm doing gold. This has like a coppery color, so it might look really good um, with that purple. That design. Oh, I have a splatter bead. Look at that. This is one of the strands that are in the free uh, bead bundle that we're giving away. There's um, four of them, and this is the black. But like I said, there's also a red, a purple, and I think a mustard. So it's a really pretty, pretty mix. That would have looked pretty with the silver. I would have loved that. Let's see, this is kind of an interesting one. And then there's just like a clear. That could be kind of fun. Hmm, where to go, what to do? Ooh, that one's pretty. It's like a metallic -y chocolate brown. I'm thinking that one might be the one I go with. We have some of these great, um, I pulled this out because I wasn't sure what, what I was going to make today. Some of these great lavender lemonade bead strands left, but there aren't many. We are going to do a sale with bead strands and bead mixes, and we realized we don't really have that many. You guys have been just um, grabbing them up so quickly. Okay, so I'm going to use the gold. I have the 22 gauge gold softlux craft wire. So this is a copper wire. It has a um, silver plating and then a gold color over the top of it. And it has a protective coating, so it should always stay this beautiful, bright gold metallic color. Anytime I'm using craft wire, I like to run my nylon jaw pliers over the top of it. It smooths it and it also starts work hardening it. And then I'm going to grab a healthy, decent sized piece uh, because to make my own head pin, I'm going to tie a knot in the wire. Now, one thing I do not suggest doing is doing this when your hands are not completely dry. <laughs> and if your hands are not completely dry, you can always use a chain nose plier to hold on to one end and really kind of uh, yank that down. So we wanna keep that beautiful kind of knot shape intact. So what I do is I choose the end that's going to naturally pull up. And then I come in with my chain nose plier to kind of flatten that together. And again, you can take your nylon jaw pliers just to kind of straighten everything out. Let me open up my piece here. I've got this beautiful garnet colored check glass bead. And I am, these are going to be so pretty in a chandelier earring where you can get that really good color coming in from the light. 
I'm going to just slide it on. It's not going to go all the way to the bottom until I hold on to it with my chain nose plier. And then I'm going to take that little end and just kind of bend it down and bring it around. And per usual, one of my children set an alarm out in the other room. So I'm going to go turn it off. If you have an Alexa, it's probably going to turn off your Alexa too, but just one second. Alexa, stop. Ever since my seven-year-old learned how to set alarms on Alexa and Google, it's been like nonstop alarms. <laughs> what's, this, what's this alarm for? <laughs> Okay, so back to back to the, the beading at hand, trim, and then I've got one single piece. Now, did I have to wrap up that piece or have both of them come up? No. And I'll show you another option with my smaller bead because two strands won't go through my smaller bead. Um, but it is a little bit more secure. So if I have that option, that's what I usually do. And then I'm just going to take the tip of my round nose plier and I am going to bend towards me, away from me, move my plier to the side, and then wrap under to get a really nice little loop. And here's where I'm just going to open it ever so slightly because I want to hook it onto my chandelier finding. Ta -da. And you have two choices here. You can get your chain nose plier in there. Sometimes it's tricky if you're doing a really small loop and sometimes it's easier to grab on with your round nose plier because it has such a small tip. So whatever you're most comfortable with and then just kind of messy wrap that down to the bottom. And we're going to take our cutters. And then I always like to just kind of go in and just tuck that little loose end in so that it's not going to grab anything. And there we go. We've got our first little craft wire version. So in this one, I used a head pin, which is really similar. Let me grab one of my head pins. So a head pin has a little bottom, little metal bottom, and then it's just a straight pin. So it's already made for you. Um, and you're gonna stick your little drop that you're using onto the head pin. And that'll stop it from moving down. And then you just do a wire wrap at the top. A little bit more simple, but there are times where I don't have the head pin that is gonna match what I'm doing. And so I, at that point, will grab my craft wire because I know I can get a similar job done. And um, I'll show you how the bottoms look on these two. I can get a similar job done um, with a little, I think it looks kind of neat to have that little knot down there at the bottom. I think it looks nice. So two different options of ways that you can add drops to your jewelry design. So now I'm going to make one of the little beads in the center. And I, I mean, I don't think you could do a drop on every one. There are not enough drops on the strand. You'd have to get two strands. So it may be an option if you get two strands of the drop beads in the same color or two colors. If you get the bundle, maybe you could do, you know, two different colors together. You might be able to do five in here. I only had one color of each. Um, oh, that's an interesting one. I'm glad I got that, that strand. Um, I only had one color of each, so I decided to put a little bead in the center, but this would certainly, I think, be an option too. You could do a drop from every single one of those links. Um, this also kept it a little light. 
you know, because it can get a little heavy duty when you've got those big beads on there. Um, but we're going to do it the same way as the one I have on and do some of these beautiful brown. These brown beads have almost a touch of red in them, which I think is going to make it so pretty with this red garnet drop. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to grab some craft wire. I'm trying to look over and see what you guys are saying over here as well. Decent sized piece of craft wire. Oh, I think so too. The garnet and the gold is very regal. Amanda says, it makes me want to dangle something off the drop. Yeah. Yeah, you could totally do that too. If you wanted to put a little dangle or something at the bottom of there, you would have that option. You could even just use a little jump ring to, to hook something on. Um, anything else going on here? And I got Kristen in the background today and she says the garnet is looking so pretty with the gold. I agree. It does look really nice with the gold. I love it. Okay. So for this next one, I'm going to take my wires and do that same kind of trick again, where I pull a knot and again, if your hands are just not quite cooperating, you can use the chain nose pliers. Now, do be aware this is a copper wire. There is a chance this is going to snap and break if I keep working it too hard. Um, but it's pretty good. I've made a lot of these and I've never had it snap and break. But I don't think I'm yanking on it possibly as hard as I could be. So just be aware that that's a, that's a possibility, right? And, and kind of plan accordingly. So for this one, what I'm going to do is take that wire and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom before I even put my bead on. And you could do this with the drops too if you wanted to. I chose to do it at the top, but you can choose, you can choose to do it either way. And once I have that, then I only have one single wire to contend with for my tiny four millimeter bead. So it's not quite so um, two wires that won't fit through it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my round nose plier and I'm going to do that same motion that I did before. So towards me, away from me, to the side underneath, open it up ever so slightly so that I can fit something in there and then string my component on. And again, I'm going to use my round nose plier to hold on to that little loop and wrap down to the bead. I can come in and trim. And that gives me part of my first earring. I love that. It's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and swap back to one of my dangles. So if you're just joining me now and you missed the beginning, welcome. We're going to repeat a few things today. Make sure you do get your name in for the giveaway by commenting with hashtag free beads. Free beads today. Okay, so we're going to take our wire, Softflex craft wire. It's a 22 gauge craft wire. And we are going to gently tug enough to make a small knot, um, but not so much that we're going to snap and break that copper wire. And then I always bend kind of towards the way. 
it would it would easily turn and go. So that those wires will pretty easily come together. And it's always good to have straight wires. So go over them with the nylon jaw pliers quite a few times to make sure they're all nice and straight. Okay, we're gonna take one of these two wires and bend it down. And just by kind of holding that bottom, we're gonna wrap it around the top here. It still doesn't quite feel like it's all as snug as it could be. There we go. There we go, got that all done and then we can just trim and there we are we have just one wire left and now we're ready to this always reminds me of legally blonde where they do the bend and snap it's like bend and snap <laughs> so anybody's seen that movie Bend and snap. <laughs> okay, and then open that up ever so slightly. And on it goes. So I have had just quite the week. I had we had dance recital last weekend, you guys, and it was like it was the longest week. <laughs> Any of you have daughters who do dance or granddaughters or daughters or nieces who do dance recitals? We did three of them and a tech rehearsal and it was a lot and a birthday party. So it was a very busy weekend. And then yesterday I was on my way to the office and my kids had one of those jump ropes that are beaded out just outside the back door. And I didn't slip on it but I stepped over it and I didn't fully compensate the stair and I totally biffed it. I fell completely down flat on my back and um, I was not bending or snapping. <laughs> I had to sit there in, in shock for a good 10 minutes while I twisted my ankle pretty good. So it's been a little rough on the ankle, but um, I am doing the best I can. I know it hurt. It hurt. I'm doing okay, but it definitely, it was not a pretty sight. Um, but, you know, the only person who saw me was my mother. So, and my, and my three-year-old who falls down like daily. So that was helpful. It wasn't in public where it would have been. A million times more embarrassing. Um, I was just in my own backyard. <laughs> it was, it was, it was one of those things where I was just shocked. Yes, most of the time it's just your pride that's hurt. Totally. Yes, it it, it hurts a little bit. I've had to ice my ankle and my toes a little bit, but I it's fine. I didn't break anything. I can still move everything. Um, thankfully, but it was more like I said, like, like, um, Vanessa said, definitely, definitely a little ego hurt and a good reminder that I am not invincible, you know, and that, um, to be careful. So, um, <laughs> before I break something, that's going to be the next step. I'm going to end up breaking something. So uh, thankfully, I'm okay. My my husband is actually out of town. So um, I'm thankful because I wouldn't have anyone to take me really to the hospital or, you know, it would have been would have been a tough thing if I really hurt myself. So I'm glad I'm okay. But I've definitely been trying to stay off of it today as much as I can and rest it 
we go. So I did the bottom again because I am doing this little tiny bead and it will only go over one strand of craft wire. Oh, Pamela says sprains last longer than broken bones. Oh, goody. Hopefully I didn't sprain it. I think it's just strained more than sprained, you know, um, but I've been icing and heating it. So I think that's definitely helping. So I'm making my loop at the top. And then I am opening that loop up ever so slightly. And I'm going to string on my fifth link in my five ring connector. I'll make just ear one earring today and then we'll work on a third way to do this earring maybe with the spiral piece. See if we can make that one work. And then just right down to the bead. I love these earrings. They're so cute. I have loved this component since it came out. I think it's so pretty with the vine on it. It's such a pretty, lovely shape. It does have a clasp that matches it. Let me see if I pulled those. Oh yeah, it has a clasp that matches it. So if you wanted to make like a matching bracelet, it has that component too, which is really fun. Um, it's just really, really pretty. Look at how good that's looking. All right, and then we've got our last one here that we're gonna connect. So we need one more piece of craft wire. I love 22 gauge craft wire. I feel like it helps you to make just about anything you could need to make um, in a pinch, you know, if you're needing to make a quick clasp or head pin, whatever it is. It's pretty sweet. So I'm going to bend. And then I will nylon jaw those again, get them nice and straight. Now be gentle with this too, because you can break your glass bead if you're too rough. So uh, make sure you're really kind of being thoughtful. That's why I'm doing all that work to get the wires together really easily. So they're almost there. And then I slide the bead down. I'm gonna take one of these and split it. And then kind of hold on to that bottom in order to wrap it around the top here. And there we go. Last one. These are quick and easy. As my good friend Kay Goss at Star Speeds likes to say, done by dinner earrings. Oh, I was so confused by this one. <laughs> Wait, did I finish this already? <laughs> uh, it doesn't take much to fool me, I'm telling you. Okay, so now I'm just wrapping down to the base of the bead. And a little trim and a tuck and we're done. <clears throat> and an ear wire. Did you guys all just hear my dog groan? <laughs> She's like, thank God this is almost done so that this lady can pet me again. <laughs> all right, let me grab a couple ear wires. Let's see what I have here. Do I have two that are matching? The <laughs> Always the question. Do I have two? Those look pretty similar. Shadow, you can stop growing. You can stop growing. Okay. 
Oh, Diane says she's got some thunderstorms and lightning. Ooh. Nancy said, I really do not like when I break a bead. Always seems to happen when you only have that one bead. <laughs> totally. I, I totally agree. It's like the one last bead that you need to finish your design and it snaps. Oh, it's painful. That is painful. There we go. So you need one strand of the drops to make a full pair of earrings and you'll have one left over. And, uh, and in fact, I didn't have jewelry on, so I put those earrings on and then I was like, oh, well, maybe I can take that last drop and just make a little dangle drop out of it. So there's that too. That last one can become a little pendant or a little drop off your bracelet to bring the two together and make them match really nicely. I'll make the second one of this on my own time. We're going to work on, I feel like these are very Ottoman Empire after the fall of Constant Constantinople and I love them. I'm a history teacher. Oh, I love that. Very cool. <laughs> I was learning all sorts of things about that, um, Shira, from Timothy Schneider. He has a YouTube series. I think it's from Yale. And it's it's the class is about Ukraine, but Ukraine's history is so tied up in everything in that region um, that he really talks about the Ottoman Empire and the Turks and... Um, Oh, geez, the, I mean, so many different, the Vikings and how everything kind of coincides in that one spot. Um, so I feel you. I love history too. Very cool. I will finish these ones on my own. Let's look at a third way. If you didn't have your, your um, head pin and you didn't have some Softlex craft wire, but you did have some Softlex beading wire, how you might make an earring that is similar. I'm going to test out if this will work. I think I could probably use that same color with the purple since it's already open and I think it might look really pretty with the copper and these two colors. So I'm going to go for that. And let's see. Let's see if it'll work with this other finding. And maybe it won't, but maybe it will. Always hard to tell. Okay, so what color wire do I want to do? I could do the tanzanite. I could go straight copper so it matches the finding. That might be kind of cool. I think I might do that. So I'm going to grab a little piece. This is Softlex a wire, 019 medium, and it's a 10 foot spool in the copper color. And I'm just going to open that up. And first things first, I'm going to make like a little head pin. So I need my copper crimps. Oh, there she goes. You hear her click clickety clacketing out of the room. She's had enough of listening to bead making, I guess. Uh, there's my crimp. I'm going to take my magical crimping pliers and I'm going to compress to create a little four corner ravi, ravioli. And then I'm going to turn and compress again and go around the whole thing. I love these connectors are not just for earrings, although they make great chandelier earrings. You can also use them if you have a five strand design and you want to connect to just one, a one strand clasp. Um, but I have been excited to use them for earrings. So I doubled that over so that there'd be enough soft flux inside that crimp to give me a really strong hold. 
uh, but I don't need that loop. So I'm just going to trim it right off and just do a test. Sometimes this will move if you haven't crimped it well. So always do a good test and I'm going to make it pretty long. The other nice thing about doing it with soft flex is you can make your head pin whatever length you want. So if you've got a few beads that you're connecting, you can have a very long head pin. Um, some of them, sometimes I'll get like a one inch head pin and I'm like, ooh, this is tiny. Like there's not enough workspace to get my loop in there. String your bead and then that little piece down there is going to hold onto the bead. Come back up into the crimp. And then I'm going to go through the finding and back into the crimp bead. Now, if you wanted, you could string this wire back into the bead, trim it off the bottom. Um, I'm going to leave it on the top. I don't really mind it. I do want to kind of get my wires as side by side as I can inside of that crimp. And that will give me a nice straight connector. If you have it overlapping, which it's kind of naturally going to do, it's going to kind of naturally crisscross. It's going to pull just a little bit to the side, which most people won't notice. But it's just one of those things that you can kind of control. Compress and then go around the whole thing. Compressing it down into a little metal bead. You'll notice I left enough wiggle room that that could connect very easily. And then I can come in with my cutter and trim right at that bead. So now I would do that again along the way. I, what I'm mostly curious about is how these are going to lay. I think they might lay really nicely. Um, but I need, I definitely need something tiny there in the center. So let's see what happens with our experiment here. So let me get my, make my next little head pin. I feel like this video should be called earrings three ways or something. <laughs> three options for chandelier earrings. Some two by two millimeter soft flex crimp tubes in copper are very tight. I don't know why they come a little tighter than the others. So it's like the metal is just a little bit thick. I could have gotten that through twice, but I just didn't feel like fussing with it. I'll just pick a new one. I'm going to take Path of Least Resistance today. Compress. And these are magical crimping pliers. They work with two by two millimeter soft flex crimp tubes. I do suggest really good quality crimp tubes. Um, and they just make the nicest little round piece. Oh, Lee, that's a great question. They require a two by two millimeter crimp tube and they really do best with a thick crimp tube. So something like what we carry, um, not a thin walled tube that's gonna um, just kind of fall apart easily. You want a really nice, strong crimp tube. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little bead and then same thing, it's just a smaller bead. You string your crimp tube on. Judy's saying, I love that idea. I finally made a dangle hoop earring set with the Softlix wire last week. I don't know why it took me so long to try that. I don't either. I'm really glad you tried it. They're really fun and they're really light. It's like a really light product to use. It doesn't add a lot of weight. So Softlix is great for earrings. Um, so let me 
go. Again, a couple things to remember. You don't want to be so tight to that loop that it's not going to drape easily. Leave some wiggle room in your loop that's connecting so that it can kind of wiggle around and try to straighten out your wires inside the crimp tubes. So you're getting kind of a straight connection and then come in with that crimping plier and go to town with it. Coming at the crimp bead from every angle so you get a nice round bead. I'm so curious, will this third one lay nicely next to these two? It's looking pretty good. I'm liking it. What will happen? I always feel like a little bead scientist. Will this work? Will these two things go together? How does this one operate? <laughs> okay. My little ravioli and turn. And as Neela likes to say, make it into a meatball. Because <laughs> food analogies are the best analogies. Okay, and then I'm going to test it. And this is a longer one I've got to drop this time. So I want to make sure my head pin is long enough to manage it. Through your bead, grab a crimp. Thanks, Rhonda. Yeah, it's a nice alternative. If you don't have that head pin already or you don't have some craft wire, um, sometimes it's just what I do naturally. So it's easy and it works. And Softlux comes in lots of fun colors. Like right now I'm matching metal to metal um, but I could have used like a fun color like the tanzanite or the spinel or garnet would have been pretty. And then that wire color can become part of the design. In this case, I just kind of wanted to go for a match so it didn't stand out and let those drops really do the standing out because they're so fabulous. And that beautiful tiara cast part too is just so pretty. The spiral connector is not new, but when I started looking at the cathedral ones that they came out with earlier this year, I just saw it on their website and I just thought it's so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just a really nice component. And we do have some spiral things like a ring, I think. Oh, I don't know if we have a clasp, maybe a toggle or something. Um, I thought, oh, that just, it's so pretty. That lays really nicely. Yep, that lays really nicely. It's going to work. It's looking pretty good. Oh, and I keep doing it right below where you can see it. It's looking really good. Yeah, I, I think that's going to turn out really good. Um, do I, well, it's two more components. I'm going to finish one of these earrings so you can see the full thing. And then we'll do our giveaway. Okay. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Let me see how many people have entered. 51 entries. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. So make one more head pin here using, these are our copper crimps. They come in sterling, gold filled, copper, and a black oxidized silver. Ooh, I had one more earring I wanted to make. Now it needs to be four earrings. Would the magical crimper work with crimp beads? No, they work best with a two by two millimeter Softlex crimp tube. Okay. And in and two, two, two. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna take that little bead. If you have a an under the sea design kit, you should have reached received a Zoom link for this evening at 4.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. I am looking forward to hanging out on Zoom with you. So make sure you check your email for that. Also, if you ordered one of our curated collections from the Czech Republic, check your email for $10 cash to use on your next order. It's a coupon code. You can only exclusively get it if you bought the Czech Glass curated collection and have been waiting oh so long to receive it. It started shipping yesterday. So check your email for that too. Um, and just know there are little perks that come along with ordering certain things like our design kits. We've been having a little Zoom party monthly where we hang out. That's probably where I'll finish off the second earring for my pair and chit chat about the month and the kit. Take a look at what some folks are making, um, whether it's with the kit or with something else. And it's just a really nice time. It's nice because I get to see faces, some faces, not all faces, but some faces. And um, yeah, it's cool. So we move the curated collection unboxing to next month. Since it's just shipping out, I do have mine. Oh, quick look. <laughs> I'm very excited to open it up. There's some really cool and kind of unusual things in there. There are some staple items as well. Um, but I hope everybody really loves it. John and I did our best. We may do one in the fall if you like it. Um, keep me posted. And we may do another one. He goes back in September. So, and I'm always open to, you know, what are you interested in? I, we tried to really listen to everybody on that video when we were visiting at the warehouse. Um, but let me know. I am teasing you with a quick peek, Sue. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it, the fun of opening it and looking at it, you know, so I figured I would wait and let you guys all receive it first. And then some of you will get it really quickly because you're close by and some of you, it will take a while. We have even some people who ordered who live in uh, Europe. So it's definitely going to take a little while to get everywhere. Isn't that funny? The check glass came all the way to America to turn around and ship back um, <laughs> to, to Europe. That's so funny. The way of the world. Oh, I'm so glad this worked out. Oh, it's so pretty. That might be my favorite one yet. Let me get a little copper ear wire for it. It's looking really good though. I love that little spiral connector. If you haven't checked them out on the website, please do. Both of them are lovely. Kind of have a little bit of a different vibe. I'm going to wear these all the time. Copper and purple are so pretty together, aren't they? Oh, gorgeous. Kristen was, um, Kristen was worried for me. She said, wow, I admit I wasn't sure it could fit. <laughs> I wasn't either. I really wasn't. I was like, oop, I don't know. Is it going to work or is it not going to work? But it works. It works really well. I feel like it looks really good. Here is the gold we made with the Softlex craft wire. 
And then if you joined us later and you missed it, this is the one I made on my own time beforehand, but I showed how to make it at the beginning of the video using head pins. So three, and now I'm gonna make one more earring because I'm an overachiever like that. I'm gonna do a single drop. For those who do not like a big chandelier earring, I've got you covered too. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna do a single drop as well. Um, oh, what color should we do single drops in? Well, I know these ones are all taken. Why don't we do, hmm, why don't we do the aqua? That color is awesome. I love these drops. I'm going to use all of them up before <laughs> they, they barely went on sale today. And I'm going to be like, nope, I used all of them. And now I need more. <laughs> I need more, 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 more. Okay. So these sweet little parts were also new from Tierra Cast this year. They come in the gold, the silver, and the copper. So you have all those options. I'm trying to decide. I'm thinking the gold might look nice with that aqua. What do you guys think? In the comments, tell me, do you think I should do gold, silver, or copper? for my single drop. What what do you think makes the most sense with that beautiful aqua color? Oh, gold, silver, silver, gold, silver. Silver, silver, silver. <laughs> gold or copper? Oh, first copper. Silver. Silver. Okay, I think it's mostly silvers. I think silver wins. Okay, we're gonna do silver. Let me move that out of the way. And I think I'll just do the head pin this time since I am doing silver and I have some nice little silver head pins here. And since I didn't show that on those earrings, this will work out fairly well. So I'm gonna straighten out my head pin. They sometimes come a little wonky because uh, they'll, often be in a bundle of them. And so you can use your nylon jaw pliers to straighten them out. If you ever have issues with your head pins not being straight, this is the tool to grab. That'll go right down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my round nose plier and turn towards me, bend away from me, bend and snap as we've discussed into a nice little round dangle. Open that up ever so slightly so that you can string your beautiful little tear cast component on there. And then come in and grab that beautiful loop that you made and just wrap down to your bead. And I think I want to wrap this just a tiny bit more. And you always want to be kind of careful at this part too with your chain nose plier that you don't accidentally snap your bead. So just be mindful that glass is breakable and it can break. And then grab a... Oh, I made a huge mess in my finding thing here. Lovely. Let's see. Grab a little ear wire. And that won't go over there, but what you do is you just come on this back side. And that goes on there. And then you can either use your round nose to close this up and keep that nice round shape. Or you can also do a chain nose. Um, but you want to just slightly tighten it up. And there you go. We've got a cute little single drop earring. So if the big chandeliers are not your thing, 
me go higher here. Those big chandeliers are not your thing. You can always do a single drop as well. Uh, Lee says, Sarah, thank you for showing us how to make head pins and both types of wire today. I learned something new. I love that. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you spending some time with me today. And we're just at an hour mark, which is usually about the time I send um, when I do a live video. So let's go ahead and bounce over. It's your last chance to enter uh, by commenting hashtag free beads. Let's see, share screen and giveaway tool. 63 entries. Yay! I will be giving away a bundle of four strands of what we call our splatter check glass beads. They're very pretty. Um, and I will be giving it to one lucky winner who I choose here in just a minute. You can also get a free bundle of these beads by spending over $69 on our website, softlexcompany.com, between now and next Tuesday. Also, check out those drops. There is a bundle for them that has all five colors, and it is 30% off if you buy it in the bundle, and you can get both. So get the bundle and then add a few more things to get up to $69. And then you get the free uh, splatter bead bundle too. And uh, free shipping on orders over $65 in the USA. All right, here we go. I am drawing one lucky winner. The winner will email info at softflexcompany.com to claim your prize. Make sure you give them your address uh, so that we can ship to you and um, let them know you won the splatter bee bundle. And Kristen, if you could also email info at Softflex to let them know. Our winner is Michelle Flores. And just checking to see, are you here, Michelle? Check in and let us know that you are still here to claim your prize. I demand that everybody is here <laughs> throughout the video to get their prize at the end. Looking for Michelle. Looks like she was watching on YouTube today. I'm going to give you a few more minutes. Kristen, let me know if you see Michelle pop on. Go ahead and highlight her message. Uh-oh, did Michelle skip out? Mmm. Let's give her a minute. This happens sometimes. <gasps> there she's there she is. Yay! You're welcome, Michelle. Thanks for being here today. And thanks to all of you for watching and um, being a part of our big Softlex company family. We love and appreciate all of you. I will see some of you at 4:30 p.m. Pacific. 7.30 p.m. Eastern for our private Zoom party. If you have the Under the Sea design kit, you should have gotten a link to the Zoom party. And um, I will see you there in just a little bit. And we will bead and chat and, uh, and have a good time. All right. Thanks, everybody. Let me stop sharing here. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> all right. See you all soon. Check out all those great deals that I talked about and the new beads on our website, which is softlexcompany.com.